<laughs> now you've earned it, Callie. I feel bad. Let me scoop you something just to start you off here. A little mm. chocolate, mint chocolate chip. But here's what's in front of you, Callie. These are so cute. These are so cool. They're <laughs> pint-sized. Yeah. You get two in each. And this was basically my son's birthday party. Oh, so if you've so got kids, cool. if you've got grandkids, we're in summer, this is the best thing to do with a group of kids. We had four or five of them plugged in, and all the kids at the birthday party got to make their own flavor. See, it that's was it. such a hit. But I I'm think gonna that's walk awesome. you through how it works. We're talking about ice cream, frozen yogurt, sorbet, gelato, and making your mm. own gives you the control. You control the sugar, you control the fat, you control the lactose, yep. the flavors, the yep. toppings. It's totally cool. Completely. So in here, first flavor I've got for you. It's mm. got a cool color. I don't use bananas in this. Some Ooh. overripe bananas, and I put a little bit of cream, a little bit of sugar. This is one of my favorite flavors. Callie, I'm gonna give you a little taste oh, of this yay. banana. Banana. I sometimes put a little cinnamon in there to give it like a banana bread flavor profile. Oh my gosh. It's the best ice cream ever. I know. Sorry, I just hit you. I, I grew up with two, br two brothers. The best mm. ice cream of all time. And, and you're using those bananas. It was just cream, a little sugar, some, and bananas? That's it. A little oh vanilla my gosh. extract. Now you could I'm jazz it up, in. get Sorry. in there. You there you go, get in mm. there. You could jazz it up with some walnuts, mm. some cinnamon, get that banana bread flavor. But here's the best part about making your own mm. ice cream. Of course you control the ingredients, mm. but you get the toppings too. So I like to go to a bulk food store and get my favorite nuts, cereals, candies, get it into the actual ice cream. I know, I know. I know I there's can't. others to try, but this one is really, really yummy. I can't stop either. <laughs> this is really good. But you brought up a really great point and you're kind of looking at my empty machine saying like, so what's going on? Some people are intimidated by ice cream. They say, I've never mm. made it before. I don't know how to do it. I want to show you how easy it is to make simple ice cream. Okay, good. So check this okay. out. Perfect. Little bit of whipping cream, little bit of sugar, and a little bit of vanilla. And that's it for the most basic mm. ice cream you can think of. You could use vanilla bean if you like. Mm -hmm. Vanilla bean paste in here would be great. And you whisk it together. So three ingredients, you got ice cream. That's if crazy. If you look at the back of a store-bought ice cream, Callie, there's ingredients there you can't It's pronounce. horrifying. It's horrifying. The ingredient deck is like this. It covers the whole carton, and you're right. Yeah. And then how long has it been sitting in that freezer? For sure. And then what kind of, you know, dairy did they use? Yep. It's so true what you said now more than ever. I think most of us, we, we have family members that have different issues, health issues or yep. dietary restrictions. And just to be able to use it. My son is a vegan, as you know. Yeah. Just to use like an oat milk instead of a For regular sure. milk. Or, you know, there's options now, but you can really custom those recipes. Love that you brought that up. You could use an oat milk. You could use lactose-free milk. Sometimes I do 50-50 milk and cream. That's a gelato. So you're going less on the fat. You're controlling fat, sugar, ingredients, flavors. So that vanilla base is now gonna churn and make the most incredible vanilla ice cream, not too sweet. And how long do you think that'll take? So this'll take maybe 15 minutes. Okay. Easy, let it go for 15 minutes, right? And each one, and you're getting two. You're getting two. They're $15 a piece. This is the coolest thing ever. Um, so you just choose black, the white, yep. the red, the teal. We've got those choices. Like I said, this has been, this just dropped today. This weekly deal drop, cool. this is very temporary. I mean, $50, still a great buy to get two of these from our private label brand. But don't, look at this, over 2,000. And that was in the middle of the day, yep. one little airing, and that's how many went already. We are very busy, we still are with our today's special, so I thank you for your patience. I apologize, but it's worth every moment. Now check this out, a little vanilla frozen yogurt, homemade, you could use organic yogurt, you mm. could go less on the sweetness, more, as you wish, top it with whatever you like. So we're talking about frozen yogurts, sorbets, ice creams, gelatos, and you know what, like I said, I had four lined up for my son's birthday party. You should have seen these kids. If you've got kids, grandkids, they were lining up, making flavors, naming the flavors after themselves. Oh, that's so All right. cute. The kids five. are already branding things. <laughs> it's fun. Like, this is the time to do it. Mm -mm. That frozen yogurt is so good. I put a little less sugar than you would see, obviously, in a store. You control your sweetness. You could have that for breakfast. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. <laughs> well, maybe not breakfast, may, but, but, but maybe. It's not bad. 
mean, there's a lot of sugar alternatives too. For sure. So, you know, that's if that's your thing, I understand. I, I, I've been pretty much void of sugar since yep. the be beginning of the year, with the exception of that incredible but banana you know ice what? cream that you just Anything made. Anything with fruit, mm. there's not a lot of sugar in that batch. That's true. Because I use the banana for the sweetness. And you, ah, oh, that's such so, a good point. I'm going in for more. So you can have more of that. <laughs> Speaking of which, check this mm. out. I've got a sorbet, a raspberry sorbet, no extra sugar. If you are talking about in-season beautiful fruits, I like to cook them down a little bit of water. You can use natural sweeteners. You could use honey, maple. You don't have to go heavy on the white sugar. So with a sorbet, I find, depending on how ripe the fruit is, you don't need any extra sugar. That's a great point. So, the fruits are so sweet. They've got their own natural sugars. For I'm sure. so glad we're having this conversation. Look at that. Because you don't have to feel guilty. And, you know, not only do you have to be concerned with the ingredient deck on different ice creams, um, they, they are, they're so fattening. They, yep. they really are. It's yep. fattening, so none of us want to do that. And how many of us buy a carton and then never get to the bottom of it anyway because, well, exactly. you know, a freezer burns and... That size is awesome. So I the agree. one pint size is so great because you, you got... Please, okay. try that sorbet too. The, the one here. pint size is great because, you know, it's easy to put in your mm. fridge. Mm. You get to mix and mash different... Isn't that good? That's the frozen yogurt. That, that's really good. So what's the difference between, you said this is a sorbet and the gelato, you said you do a different a ratio. Exactly, so if you're going 100% ice cream, you could just use cream, sugar, vanilla. If you're going gelato, you could go half cream, half milk. You could use lactose-free milk. You know, so you can mix and match and kind of, you can make frozen yogurt, you can make a sorbet. So you can really do anything, it's the same idea. Get the ice cream maker cold, get your mix in, and let it churn away, and that's it. Do you need to store this in the freezer? So you store it in the freezer at least 24 hours. Any ice cream maker has to be cold. So half the battle is, it's cold and it's moving. So you see, that's why every ice cream is churned. So you keep it cold, okay. and that's why I think that size is great. That's one pint, mm. so it's not overtaking your freezer. I know it's good, but mm. no mm -hmm. extra sugar there. Mm. No extra sugar That raspberry there. sorbet. When I was little, Look at this. another little childhood memory here, but we used to make homemade ice cream as a family, but yeah. remember the big old buckets? You'd have to put the dry ice thing? in there, and you're like cranking on it for like <laughs> ever. By the time you're like, I don't even want ice cream anymore. I'm so tired. <laughs> well, you burnt the calories at that point. You burnt That's the true. calories, but we're not we're not turning tonight, Callie. No, we're too it, busy. You turn on a button. You turn it on. Turn and it most on. of these, from what you've said, are like three ingredients. Yeah, absolutely. Then maybe four. And but ingredients that you've controlled. That's the key. Which is the key. That is the key. I mean, there's almond milk, there's oat milk, yeah. there's so many different options now when it comes to whether you're lactose intolerant yep. or if sugar is your issue. You know what you are putting in. And if you want a chocolate chip mint yep. with some almonds, or if you, you know, you can make up a favorite For combination sure. like your kids did. If the five year olds can do it, you can do it. But this <laughs> is the funnest thing to do with kids, mm. with grandkids. It's the, the start of summer. This is the time to do it. And I want you also to note the consistency of homemade ice cream. This isn't rock hard. If you like a firmer ice cream, what I suggest, take your homemade batch, put it in a resealable plastic container, put it in your freezer, it's gonna firm up. Or if you like it like I do, that soft serve smooth consistency, mm -hmm. that's a chocolate gelato, half cream, half milk, a little bit of cocoa powder, not too much sugar, mm. and you can get crazy with the toppings. Wow. I just put in some sprinkles as it was churning. Mm -hmm. Isn't that good? You got the crunch. But you that can put so chocolate good. chips in there. You can put your favorite candy bar, crunch it up in there. I put my favorite cereals, crunch them up in there. So, oh, it's just I don't know unlimited. which one I like the most. I thought not to eat the banana, but this chocolate. Oh my gosh, this is very popular, as fun? you can imagine. If you <laughs> want this, I don't know which color is going to go first, but I do know. Oh, white is going to go first, followed by the teal. And. Mm. I have to try that. Oh, the mm. teal with the white. So you get white and then a color. Apologize, white and then a color. But there's 600 left in the teal with the white. If you want the red, it comes with the white. If you want the black, it comes with the white too. So two at $29.99, mm. what a deal this is. And what a time to do it. Easy. I mean, summertime where you want the refreshing cold yep. ice creams or sorbets and gelatos. Thank you for teaching for sure. us Isn't that fun? how to make these. I'm gonna try the chocolate mint. Get the chocolate mint. Mm. Oh my gosh, this is, I'm in heaven tonight. Mmm, mmm, okay. Tell me what you did. Mmm. Isn't that How good? did you make this one? Okay, so you got some chocolate chips, 
You've got, now this was a straight up ice cream. Cream, sugar, chocolate chips. Mm. You can even play around with colors. I put a little mm. splash of green, green extract in there, mint extract, simple. Handful it's of ingredients, right? So and none good. of those ingredients that you can't pronounce, like we always talk about. When you look at a store-bought ice cream and you flip it around, there's stuff in there mm. I cannot pronounce certainly, right? And what is that stuff? You don't need it. You don't want it. Because want it's it. not good for you. We know, you know, when you break it down, you like the, the raw ingredients. Yep. You like, you know, fresh. You love fresh. Oh my gosh. And it's cheaper. It's cheaper That's to make it fresh so too. true. <laughs> like, you know, make an organic ice cream for cheaper, way cheaper than something you would buy. It's very true. Oh my gosh. I am thrilled. It's been, it seems forever since we've even had ice cream makers in our inventory. So yay! I'm so glad you guys are getting this. And the real scoops. quick, those are Kitchen HQ scoops. Mm -hmm. So if you get the red, get the red scoop. If you get the black, get the black scoop. Check that out. Those come in a two pack. So there's a small and a large. I love the small for, you know, ice cream, but also meatballs and those falafels. And you got the large size as well. Oh, you guys. Really cool. What a show we have for you tonight. I'm so glad you're joining us. And again, welcome to so many of you are shopping with us oh. for the very first time from our Kitchen HQ brand tonight at HSN. Welcome. This is a fun place to shop. I mean, <laughs> chef, this We're chef here, I mean, you crack me up the minute I met you. <laughs> and I met you on Skype. You were doing yeah, a remote it's better this cooking, way. Isn't it, though? We're tasting. It's so <laughs> true. And we're just going to be seeing more and more of yep. you. This brand is so popular at HSN. I'm, I'm very proud of it. It's our private label, proprietary brand, brand that you cannot find anywhere. I mean, it's really, they're well-made yep. appliances and cookware. And wait till you see the knives. Yep. We have that microwave white, uh, rice cooker next yep. hour. Mind-blowingly easy. The whole line easy. is made that way, though. Like, we've designed the whole Kitchen HQ line to take everyday cooking, make it easier, make it faster, make cleanup faster. I love it. I mean, Sign I've been me using up. it for months now at home and just love and its quality as well. So that's the important part. It's quality, and it's made for the home cook. It's so exciting. You guys are getting two of these. So you've got, um, you know, room to play, whether you give one away or keep them both. And I say, like you did, come time for a party. The Let best. everybody make their, their own. The best. I have Let's four go through or five this again. of them lined up. Yep. We started with the banana. That was just banana, cream, and a little sugar. That's it. Really little vanilla bananas. extract, overripe bananas. Best thing to do, keep them, put them in your ice cream. So that was a straight up ice cream. Then we had a frozen yogurt here, straight up vanilla frozen yogurt. We controlled the sweetness. I gave you a little raspberry sorbet where no extra sugar. So you are controlling the sweetness, a really beautiful thing to do in summer. And then over here, mm. as it melts away with, oh, the, with the little chocolate stuff. chips on top, a chocolate gelato, equal parts milk and cream. So you go a little bit less fat. Got it. Some sugar, cocoa powder, you've got gelato. Love it. So gelato, frozen yogurt, sorbets, and ice creams. And this was the kicker, the chocolate mint. The mint chocolate is, Gosh. that's my son's favorite, actually. Is it? That is my son's favorite. Oh, that but was good. But like I said, all the kids were making their own flavors. I had a kind of candy bar set up. Go to your bulk food store and get cereals, get nuts, get candies, get sprinkles, and watch your kids, watch your grandkids, create their own invention and name it after and themselves. Then watch it's so your, cool. Watch your partners and your adult <laughs> friends become kids. Exactly. All over again. Exactly. <laughs> and they're getting into it, making different mixes, swirling caramel Fun. into their ice cream. Like it's oh. just, it's a riot. Okay, the so best. the teal and white is almost gone. I think, okay. what do we have, Jared? Like two, 200, 300? Okay, so very close to selling out. There's red and a white or the black and the white, but thousands out the door. These so are enjoy. flying today. Yeah, they are. Oh, and there's other weekly wheel drops on hsn.com. So Monday, they drop, and they're here until Friday, or unless they sell out first, which this one obviously will be. But look, we've got mm, such a nice variety from, you know, fashions to, you know, gadgets to there's the ice cream makers. Mm. Don't wait till you can't do them, because if you wait, they're going to be, well, another $20. Um, our today's special, though, speaking of, the finest value of our new day from Kitchen HQ. It's the incredible four and a half quart, 13 inch in diameter, non-stick cast iron fryer. It is a fryer, it's a skillet, it's, a, it's an everything pan. Here we go, we're gonna show that to you.